Hello my dear fellas, it's another beautiful day in the DC area. Uh, today we're going to go over how to drain the water from your pipes. Um, I'm going over um, a long trip over the weekend, supposed to freeze. So I, I want to make sure the pipes in this baby are not going to burst with ice. Uh, so we're going to drain them by using an air compressor, uh, a hose and an adapter and run that through the hose line um, and that's gonna get push all the water out of all the pipes all the water pipes in this beautiful baby i know she's a little dirty she took a tumble on the highway around luciana uh, a couple months back i did complete body work restoration and now all i have to do is paint her back but anyways there she is and here are the things that we're gonna need so what we got going on here is this the Walt air compressor. I'll put the links in Amazon. You can order it in Amazon, it arrives in two days. So pretty decent reviews. So far, the test run, it works. Um, so you got this uh, regulated pressure knob here. Um, you know, it allows you to regulate the maximum pressure, which is shown on the regulated pressure. Um, display area and then on the tank pressure area it's going to show you how much pressure is building up in the tank uh, now the good thing is that um, once the tank builds up too much pressure um, the, there's like a safety knob here that you pull with a little ring and listen every time you pull it it releases the air so at some point to prevent the tank from exploding uh, this thing is going to be released, so before you use it, make sure that the ring works. Otherwise, it's going to explode in your face, and that might get you in trouble. Um, second, you have here the connector for the, for the hose. You can order this hose separately online. I'll set the link. It comes with the fittings necessary. And for the trailer, you actually, to connect to the water hose, um, you know, you're gonna use this, this little piece that comes with the hose, uh, with a, what they call a male adapter, giggity. And um, you're gonna screw it on tightly here using two wrench tools, boom. And you're gonna screw it to this end. You're gonna push it hard and then pull this thing down. And it gets tight in there. As easy as that. The other end, um, the hose also comes with one of these adapters. It's basically the same thing that's attached to here for the other end. And for the hose, you have to order separately this thing. Uh, there's the link as well in the description. Now uh, it's a special adapter for the hose. Um, and the thread that goes in the hose space, um, I recommend you wrap it up with uh, thread sealant. It's this tape that looks like a rubber band. Um, makes the seal more tight when you tighten it in um, it also comes with the hose and the same way as with here you know you attach this piece here boom and then you're gonna prepare for the good stuff now make sure you open up all your water inside so that when you start pushing the air, everything starts going out from all the faucets and the shower and whatnot. So let's tighten this thing. So grab a wrench and make sure it's securely tightened. Make sure there's nothing in between, like for example, I usually keep this uh, regulator thing on the hose, but I took it out so it can be connected directly to the water line. And then, you know, you're gonna connect this. But first, let's take a look at this thing. You know, let's give it a little test. You know, when you turn it on with a switch on the side, you can see the pressure starts to build. Make sure you adjust this until it stays no more than 40. It has to be no more than 40. On the regular pressure, this will continue to build. 
but once you start pushing the air out, it's gonna stay at a 40. Turn it off, you know, you can always release the pressure by pulling that ring. That's basically how it works. Now let's let's get this party started. I'm gonna run this thing and then go inside the trailer as the water is being pushed in. And hopefully it works. It's the first time I do it. You can see there's already pressure being pushed because there's pressure in the tank. All right. We're all connected and ready to party. Okay. So you can hear some noises. So air is coming out, these things are open. It looks like most water might be drained already. This is the water here. We're opening it up so that stuff is drained. You can see some water dripping out of there. No water coming out yet. If we close this, that's gonna build pressure here. This is still dripping. And then, you know, we have the shower. We're gonna open this up. Okay, so that concludes the session today. As you can tell, uh, we pushed air using this air compressor through the water line. We went inside and um, it turns out that it uh, expels the water better when you do one utility at a time. So first, you know, close all the lines and just open one of them. Let all the pressure go through that one. For example, in this case, you know, I close the, the shower knobs and also the sink knobs and let all the, all the water goes, go out through the water heater. Then you close the water heater, let all the water go through, through the sink. And you close the sink, let all the water go through the shower. In this case, the shower didn't have any water come out because I recently replaced those lines so they were already empty. Um, and it seems like it worked like a charm. A lot of water came out of the sink and some water came out of the water heater. Uh, even though I, like I said, we played several lines, including one of the sink lines and both of the shower lines. Uh, the only issue I had with this baby is, you know, I when it was running uh, not a lot of pressure was building up and i had adjusted it all the way uh, to the maximum and um, the regular pressure um, thing was only going up until like maybe 10 and the tank pressure was not going beyond 20. now they recommend to to run the tank pressure through 40 but it never got to 40. so if you have any expertise on how to operate these babies um you know let me know if i did something wrong on the comments i'd appreciate that make this a fun learning exchange and we'll see you next time moripas auf wiedersehen